Welcome back to the Real Estate News, everybody. I'm now with John Schneider, Property Revival Realty, here to talk again about real estate investing. And John, as you know, not all real estate investment is created equal. There's a lot of different types out there. You could go, you know, just a private home. You could go commercial. How do you, how would you recommend people sort of determine what's going to be the good route for them? Well, thanks for having me back here. I really do appreciate it. And, and really, it boils down to where you're at, really, in your economic life cycle. Um, you need to take the right type of investment for you based on you know how much cash you have at the time and um, what your earning potential is looking like. So you don't put yourself in a financial position where this real estate investment could potentially drag you down. Um, certainly, there are always risks to real estate investment or any investment. So you just want to make sure that you're managing that appropriately. You don't want to go into a $2 million commercial deal when really you can only afford you know a hundred thousand dollar initial purchase and I really do say that um, you want to evaluate this with a real estate professional just to see exactly where uh, your threshold for risk where you are in your economic life cycle and what you can um, really afford to get yourself into uh, when you're getting into your first real estate investment right it sounds like any other kind of investment looking at your tolerance for risk and really what Absolutely. you can afford it makes sense so once you find the type that can fit your needs where do you start looking what do you recommend well, you know, what we typically say is you try to look in as local of a market as you can, you know, it, whether it's um, local to your work, um, local to your home, um, you want to try to stay close to home. You, you, you do definitely gain information simply by living in proximity of the investment. So it's, and it's easier to deal with, you know, if you're going to have it managed by another firm, you can still check on it. If you're going to be self-managing it, it's even more important that it's close to either where you work or where you live. Uh, so certainly location is something about how you can handle handle that threshold of distance for your type of management. Definitely makes sense. I, I would want to be closer to it, I think, too, to keep an eye on it. So let's get the benefit of your experience, too, while you're here. What, when you look for a property, what are you looking for? Well, specifically, it's margin. You're looking for the difference between what you're going to pay and what you're going to earn on this investment. And, and you know that, you know, with any investment, it is the better deal you can get on investment, the more margin you can create, the more long-term gains, and overall, the better success you will have. And certainly, that takes evaluation. You want to make sure that you're evaluating the right properties, really being um, cognizant of what the risks are of an, a particular investment and what the gains are going to potentially be. And and so analyzing margin is very important. I think next week we'll focus on that and help you understand and your uh, viewers understand a little bit better on how to evaluate margin. All right. We look forward to that. Thank you, John Schneider. And if you are thinking about investing in real estate, contact him at Property Revival Realty for more information. Thanks, John, and stay with us.